Let's get ready and uh, read that declaration once more. So if you are um, leaving, would you just come before you start buying the materials or anything? Let's take one more moment. We have purposed that to read this declaration again in the light of all that we have received, all this material that has been given to us, all this teaching. Let's uh, solemnly declare uh, this uh, covenant that we have uh, contracted together. You know, um, uh, this 400th anniversary celebration should be the easiest uh, sell that one could imagine, if you think about it. And uh, we're going to be praying, and I urge you to pray, yes, that, that uh, Paul J. Lee's um, vision, it's not his vision, it's the Lord's vision, in that crucial historical place of uh, Plymouth Rock, be fully realized, and that the Lord send His way some major donors, um, so that this thing will be done without too much suffering and too much anxiety. So we bless that vision in Jesus' name and we declare that it is so right now, that it will receive all the resources that it requires to become realized. So let's, uh, would you please put up um, the uh, declaration of our ecclesia, our gathering as the church of Jesus Christ, come together, summoned by the Holy Spirit to uh, declare God's word. So please uh, read it with me and uh, let's declare it together. We, believers of New England, gathered as an ecclesia, a formal assembly of God's people, come together in obedience to God's summons. We gather as representatives of God's spiritual government in this region, endowed with the authority of his kingdom to bind and to lose, to open and shut both in the spiritual 
as well as the earthly realms. We assume the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ and make these formal declarations on His behalf, believing that we have discerned correctly His will for this time, for our region, and for our nation. We open gates on earth for the entry of God's specific purposes into our region. We release God's power upon us for evangelistic harvest, for revival, for miraculous interventions and manifestations, and for unity and holiness among God's people. We restore the covenant root of Boston and New England and release God's original covenant plan for our region. We remove the constricting band that principalities and powers have illegitimately placed over this region. We declare their downfall, their complete defeat. We order the release of individuals and institutions to be able to hear and respond to the message of the gospel. We declare grace, favor, and boldness upon the people of God in this region to proclaim the message of God and to carry out His will in this time. We affirm the words of God's prophets over our region and say Amen to their declarations. In the words of Psalm 24, 9 through 10, we declare over our region, lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. And the people of God say, Amen. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We thank you for this extraordinary meeting of your people. And we close this time with a sense of solemnity and privilege because you have gathered us as a sacred deposit of your general people all over the states of New England. We stand here representing those who are near and those who are far. And we declare that every word that has been stated, every principle, every spiritual truth that has been acknowledged will not fall to the ground. This has been an activation of your will in this region, Father. And we declare that it is so in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We bless your people as they return to all of these different states, different villages and cities of New England. And we send with them your blessing and the presence of your Holy Spirit and the authority of the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, we say amen and amen. We bless you, people of God. Go with him.